The purpose of this film is to give you information that will encourage you to do your own research and put it into action. Each of us can make a difference. Make your voice heard. I've been given a special gift. I choose to use with care. I choose to make a difference. Stand for truth and be aware. I choose to love and be loved. I choose to serve and to give. I choose to be and become most important. I choose to live. FOCA will legalize partial birth abortion, force faith-based hospitals and physicians to perform abortions against their will, give minors the right to have an abortion without parental knowledge or consent, compel taxpayer funding of abortions, and eliminate state rights. My name is Laura Knabrak, and I'm the International Policy Director for United Families International. Um, I have served as a legislator here in Arizona for about 10 years. Our elected officials at the state and congressional level are elected and have the power to introduce legislation. That legislation then gets assigned to a certain committee. After the bill passes that committee, it goes to the floor for further action. Some amendments can further amend that bill in what's called Committee of the Whole. After it passes out of Committee of the Whole, it goes to the other house, in this case the U.S. Senate. And then it will go to the President. He can either veto the bill or sign it. But in FOCA's case, the U.S. Senate has a concurrent bill. So it's a bill with the exact same language as the House bill. This means this bill is on a fast track. So when both of those pieces of legislation come out of the committee, they go through the Committee of the Whole. Most likely they will pass depending on you know, how the Democrats, the majority, vote. And again, we know that in this particular case, President-elect Obama has promised that he will sign the FOCA bill. You've got to intervene immediately. Call your elected official. Thomas.gov is the website, and you can pull up every bill there. For a woman of any age, in any situation, to have an abortion is, is extremely concerning. Because over the years, the states, individual states, have created their own protections and their own laws regarding abortion. For instance, parental notification. FOCA basically says any woman of any age in any situation can have an abortion. Creates the right to sue if she doesn't get the abortion. Um, pressures uh, and mandates that every hospital, every health care provider also provide that abortion. And it also uses taxpayer dollars to pay for these abortions. This would be a horrific step backwards for the pro-life movement. Since Roe v. Wade, there has been uh, a right for a woman to have an abortion. And it's not based on what we call fundamental right. When we talk about rights, and again, this creates a new fundamental right, as if we were talking about the right to religious freedom, for instance. Um, that also is of great concern, and the reason is that if you, for instance, if there's, there's a, a doctor who's uh, very religious and believes that in his heart he just simply cannot perform an abortion, this new law will create the right of that woman to have an abortion undermining the doctor's right of conscience or right of religion. First 10 Bill of Rights that create this right for us to have religious freedom are going to be usurped by this particular right. This usurps the state's rights. It, re it usurps every federal law, like the partial birth abortion ban, and it even overturns the Supreme Court ruling. Is one of the reasons why the pro-abortionists out there are so concerned and are pushing for this bill is because many women do not have abortions because they cannot pro find a provider. And abortion is kind of an emotional thing. When you make that decision, it's based on emotion about you, about what you can and cannot do, about what your life might be like in the future. They're not really taking into consideration the bigger picture. If they have a little bit of time and there's, there's a buffer between running out and having that abortion and thinking about in terms of what happens to the life that that person is carrying, they usually choose not to. So having immediate access to an abortion will increase abortion rates. Most doctors, most hospitals will not perform abortions, especially late term.
So the reality is those that really want an abortion will find a way to get it, but it's very difficult. This blows the doors open. You'll be able to have access to an abortion at any time, at any day, in any facility by many providers. No matter my age, race, or circumstance, now I am too small and unable. I pray you know that I want a chance. So, that I am able. Choice is to have a chance. I guess that I must be the start by life. My favorite is me. Stand up for two. It's time to stand up and let your voice be heard. You might be wondering, what can I do? I'm only one person. How much of a difference can I make? Can I stop the Freedom of Choice Act bill? Absolutely. The best chance we have of making our voices heard is by letting our legislators know how we feel. How do we do that? I email my senator. You could email your senator, too. You can find information for them at www.senate.gov. I did something as simple as telling my friends and family. Most of them didn't know anything about the bill, and those that knew some didn't have a lot of details about it. I went to www.change.gov, and I left a post for President Obama, and I expressed my feelings and concerns to stop the bill. There are many petitions circulating the internet about the Freedom of Choice Act. I received one and signed it and sent it on to all my friends and family telling them about it. I put it on my blog with links to research that I had found online so that others could make informed decisions and choose to act. In order for us to win, we need to each do our part and come together as one. I will do my own research. I will find out for myself. I will stand up and let my voice be heard. We all can. Want to know more? You can look up the Freedom of Choice Act and read it for yourself at www.house.gov. You'll also find contact information for your local representatives. Let them know how you feel. Get in the know and spread the news. I want you to make a difference. Stand for truth and be aware. Step forward and make your voice heard. Even if we win the battle of stopping FOCA, the war will still wage on. Our Liberal Congress will push through piece by piece of the pro-abortion agenda. We need to help protect the future of the family. What happens if the bill does not pass? The FOCA bill will be dissected and implemented into less threatening bills that will later be pieced together to accomplish the same purpose. We can still stop this. What can you do? Stay informed. Go online to these three different organizations and sign up for their newsletter. Part of their purpose is to watch for bills that will affect families and individuals and inform us so that we can act and stop these bills from passing. <laughs>